Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to go through my August favorites. And because there are so many and I don't feel like standing, this is a new filming location and I'm kind of digging the setup. Let me know how you feel about it because I, I think I think this could work. Mouth and I don't have to stand all the time. You don't understand how it's really exhausting just standing there for an hour talking to an inanimate object. It's mentally exhausting and physically God exhausting. My feet are very happy right now. I'm going to start this off with a book. I retrieved the book. Um, so <laughs> before you guys get all bald, I feel like I should give a warning. It's this book has seen better days because I decided to read it while I was by the pool and I had it sitting on a towel because I thought, hey, the towel will keep it dry. I had it wrapped up in it, but, but the towel was damp and so this kind of happened. But I figured if it was ever appropriate for a book to have water damage, it would, it would be Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. <laughs> I just feel like most of her books have water damage on the inside from my tears falling onto the pages. I have a book talk up on this that I am editing and should be up the first week of September. Yes, it will be the first week of September. Promise, promise. Maybe earlier if I'm feeling very generous. But you get two videos at a week at the end of the month. It happens all the time. It's a wonderful thing. This month is going to be a little bit different because I don't have my new editing system. I'm about to explain this whole thing after I mention my Netflix favorites for the month, which is one, one favorite singular. My computer died. She had cancer of the plastic. We saw it coming. We kind of expected it. I've moved on. Don't worry. But I don't have my new editing system. So I'm having to edit all of this on Movie Maker. So I cannot flash in my Netflix favorite, so I'm just gonna have to verbally tell you about it, but I think everyone and their dog pretty much knows about this thing anyway. I'm like the last one to the party, and it's Breaking Bad. Um, I have to say, the first three seasons I wasn't really blown away with, but I just finished the fourth season minutes ago. Oh my god, that was the best season so far. I wouldn't have recommended it, but that fucking fourth season made suffering through that third season, which I believe was just, just horrible. Um, just so much, it made it all worth it because the fourth season was so good. And now to get back to a thing that I didn't really explain about the cancer of the plastic. I have a new baby. She is an Acer. She's an Acer. I'm just, I tried to get the cheapest computer because I'm, my last baby was very expensive and she lasted me like a year. So I'm just into cheap computers now because I figured they're all going to last me a year anyway. I'll save up for a Mac eventually. Now the rest of this is basically music and beauty, but because I talk a lot about music, I'm going to save music until the end and I'm going to just go into like all the beauty shit basically. So my favorite nail polish for the month is this color right here, if that you can't, can you see, can you see it? I feel like Grace again. Oh, I had so much fun at the No Filter show. I'll make a video talking about that. I have a vlog channel, link down in the description. I vlogged that whole experience. You should check that out. Anyway, back to the color. This is called Eternal Optimist. It is by Essie. It's this really pretty, this doesn't help. I don't know why I do this. It's darker than my skin, but you don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know. It's a really pretty pink color and a very understated, um, light mauve color. Is it mauve or mauve? Mauve, going with mauve. I've really been into pink nail polishes lately, which is weird for me because I was the person who was like pink and I ran from it. I didn't even wear blush because I hated pink that much. I don't know. And because I am super, super lazy when it comes to painting my nails, I usually do it right before I go to sleep because I figure that's like 10 extra minutes of me falling asleep and not having to be still and just like this immobile little blob. So I've been using the OPI matte top coat. It's expensive, but I found that other matte top coats are just shit and they'd ship immediately. And I've had so much better luck with this. Not saying that it's like this miraculous thing, but I've had better luck than a lot of the other matte ones. But my whole lazy thing that I was talking about is if you put the matte one on, it dries super, super fast. So I don't have to worry about my nails being all like crunchy and stuff like they are now because I decided not to do a matte and I regret it. So I've really been into matte nail polishes because I'm lazy. Next, I'm going to talk about perfume. And this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people have been talking about the... Um, the Nirvana White, but this is the Violet Sandalwood and Vanilla scent. It, it smells exactly like that, and it smells delicious. And this was $22 for a rollerball, but I didn't want to commit to the full bottle yet. I figured my birthday's around Christmas. That can be birthday present or Christmas. 
oh my god, it smells so good. The sandalwood is, I would say, the primary scent. I probably should have mentioned these when I was talking about Ugly Love, but I just forgot to. Um, I got a VIR bag, which is a very important reader huh, bag. I have it on the floor somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, these were in the bag. I love them. They're aviators and make sense to the story because pilot, aviator, pilot, you get it. Um, and then up close in super small writing, they say ugly love. You totally can't tell. I'm so sorry that I can't do the editing stuff. I'm so sorry. I'll make up for it. If you really want to see them, I'll totally post a picture on Instagram, okay? Well, that's what they look like. I love aviators and I find them very hard to you know, match my face because I have really cheeky cheeks and stuff. So sometimes they're just like, oh, you mean up here? And I'm like, uh, no, I want to be able to express with my face. But these are really nice and I love them. I've been wearing them a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so you guys know I have super ridiculously curly hair. Maybe not compared to some other people, but to me, I hate it. Sometimes, most times. But this makes me hate it a little bit less. Uh, this is the Bedhead Foxy Curls. It is just a spray that you spray in your hair. It smells magnificent. Oh my god. Most Bedhead products really smell magnificent. I don't even know what to compare it to. It smells like something from Lush, though. You just spray it in your hair when it's wet, or you can do it dry. I do it when it's damp, because I tend to get the better results then. I don't always get the best results when it's totally dry, and I, do, I get okay results when it's wet, so I really wouldn't do it dry, even though I think it says you can do it all the time, like to touch up the curls, but definitely just to touch up, not to just begin the process, then it doesn't work. It helps my curls to be really, really curly right at the roots, which is my problem. It'll tend to dry straight right here and then be curly everywhere else, and it just looks awkward. So this helps me get curls and lift everywhere. Um, you definitely can't do two or three day hair with this stuff though because it feels disgusting on, like if you don't wash it that night. And while I'm on the topic of skin, I got the um, Murad Clarifying Cleanser. This is a pretty penny. It's not as expensive as a lot of other skincare stuff is, but I got this from Sephora. I believe it was, oh, do the math. I think it was in the mid 20s or mid no it was the mid 30s for this cost I think I want to say 36 but I'm not really sure but my skin was just getting so bad and I said I don't care I'm going to just drop my money because this is just not working for me because my skin has been really bad for like the past two entire months so that's not fun but this I've noticed is working really well in preventing acne I still do get some I have very acne prone skin but um, I do find that this is helping. It is quite drying. I have quite dry skin though, and I find that if I moisturize a lot while using this, it's, it's working out. I'm still trying to find a balance with it. It'll take me like probably another few weeks to really find that, but um, I'll probably mention this in my next month's favorites, or I'll at least talk about it. Now I'm going to talk about jewelry, and this is one of those moments in which I'm apologizing again for not having the editing system because you can't really see this. So this is this gold necklace that goes right into my collarbone, and that's where it stops. And it's just this bar with the center cut out of it. Can you kind of see it? Maybe if I... Can you kind of see now what it looks like? I've been obsessed with this. I normally really don't like things that are very up close to my neck. But um, I do like this. I'm getting over the whole I'm being choked feeling. And it's not that it's really tight. It's just that I even like really high cut things because I feel like I'm being choked. And I also... Oh, I got that from Earthbound. I always want to call it Urban Outfitters. It's Earthbound. So I got that from Earthbound, and I also got this from Earthbound, and it is an anatomically correct heart. Just very simple, and I think this is like a dude's necklace, but I don't give a shit. I love it. I've been wearing it like crazy. So now we're moving on to music, the part that I'm excited about, and because I forgot to mention music in my last month's favorites, I'm kind of making up for it in this month by giving you in more detailed what I listened to this month. Firstly, I've been listening to Blind Pilot. The title of the CD is We Are the Tide, and I've been listening to Keep You Right and New York. Those are the two. Those are really more like last month and this month carryover, the beginning of the month I was obsessing over, but then I kind of got into like the mellow stuff and more raspy bluesiness. That was my raspy bluesy dance. Which brings me to my next thing. I have been listening to Langhorn Slim and then Langhorn Slim and the Law, which is like him plus band so much and Cinderella has been my freaking jam. It's from the Be Set Free album. I finally found it and that's just Langhorn Slim. And side note, I recommend getting all of Langhorn Slim's live stuff. Look it up on YouTube. He has this beautiful like rasp to his voice and that was my attempt at it. I failed. I just, I find that so much more appealing than like 
the studio stuff, which is like all retouched and everything. I don't know. I just, I prefer his stuff live, though I kind of love all of his stuff. I've also been listening to Florence and the Machine. I have been listening mostly to Lungs, the A side, not the B side so much. Uh, and Rabbit Heart, I think, is my favorite for Florence. And this kind of ties into Ugly Love. I have been really listening to The Airborne Toxic Event. I have found, well, it's not really a newfound love. It's a, it's been a little while love, and I'm still madly in love love. The entire Such Hot Blood album is fantastic. Um, but the songs that I've really been listening to is The Storm, which is from Such Hot Blood. That song is probably my favorite song of theirs. I love the lyrics to it, I love the feel of it, and it's very, like, so much crescendoing and day crescendoing and, you know, tops off to those of you who actually know what that means. Too many years of choir. I've been listening a lot to The Lumineers, the uh, self-titled deluxe edition one, and I have, what's the song? The song is Slow It Down, probably my favorite Lumineers song, hands down. And Gale's song, I really like that one, but yeah. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this, and be sure to check out my poetry favorites for the month that I will have linked down there in the description, and I will see you guys later next time on Bookworm Stock. Bye!